It's the holiday season and you can always use a most excellent side dish or a most excellent appetizer. You can be the judge. Max and I are arguing already. It hasn't even started. We're 13 seconds in and we're arguing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these, well, do you know what a Hasselback potato is? It's when you take a full-size potato and make slits in it and then bake it and then bring it out and it's all cool looking and crispy edges and great. I think we have some of our own video. We, we have, yes, we have, we can show you. Here's what it looks like. Though I do think that was back when we shot in the kitchen and the color was ugly and Max's skills weren't anywhere near as good as they are now. But we said, let's make mini ones, mini. See what I'm holding here? Little baby gold Yukon potatoes. These are our foil for today. And as we're getting ready, I go, it's like, like, like the perfect appetizer. He goes, what do you mean appetizer? I go, appetizer. They're like one biter. So he goes, you wouldn't have a potato as an appetizer. When it would is be a potato a... ever an appetizer? It's an appetizer today. No, it's not. It's let, never let, an appetizer. Please, please, please. At the end of the video, in the comments below, let us know. Appetizer, side dish, can it be both? Is it hybrid a bowl? Hello, sir. I know your burger is about to come out, but here's your appetizer french fries. No, you don't want them no, with no. your burger as I'm a side. thinking holiday cocktail party. Alan from work is there. You've got the canapes being passed. You've got the crudités. And you've got these things on a beautiful thing. And people are like, oh, what is that? It looks like a little Hasselback potato. But they're so small, yes, because they're an appetizer. A genius idea. Honey, come have a little baby Hasselback as an appetizer. Like this, kunk, one bite and you're done. Wrong. Please, 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 just let us know below. If I'm wrong, then um, I don't care. <laughs> I'm happy being wrong. Here's the plan. Uh, we make some uh, garlicky butter nonsense to go on them. Get that ready. Then we slice these and you have the garlicky butter nonsense uh, ready because once these get cut, they're gonna start to go brown and you don't want that. So we wanna be as swift as we can. Then we paint them up, then they go in the oven. By the way, the Sam the Cooking Guy 4-inch paring knife is central to our work here today. By the way, you could get this by going to shopstcg.com right now. Have it for the holidays in your hot little hands. Hot little hands? You that's an creep. expression. I don't know. That, that sound, didn't sound right, did it? No. You can have it in your hands. Self-canceled. <laughs> let's, let's make the butter. In our hot little hands. All right. We've got about a half a cup of butter in here. Recipe below. Don't worry about it. It's melting. I like a little olive oil for flavor too. And now some garlic. This is a big clove. I just don't want it to splash the hot butter and come up on me. Wow. Did you see that? Beautiful. A little salt and pepper. They're gonna get more after. And now the important part, which I think is the important part. Let's go with about a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Ah, what the hell? Maybe a little bit more. Great. And we mix with a paintbrush. Why a paintbrush chance? Are we gonna paint it on the potatoes? We're gonna paint it on the potatoes, exactly. Now we continue to let this uh, come together nicely. The flavors will meld and we can go turn our attention to our appetizer potatoes. Appetizer potatoes, I'll say that again. Side dish potatoes. Too late. Douche. Too late. All right, let's cut the potato. We got the potatoes, we got our little knife, and we have our guide. What? How are giant chopsticks a guide, Sam? Well, let me show you. What's important when you do this is that you do not cut all the way through. We need to be making little slits. And if you try and do it by hand, there's a very good chance you cut all the way through. We don't want that. So what we're gonna do is take this chops, what we're gonna, something just got right up in my grill. So we're gonna take these chopsticks, put our little potato in between them, and then we cut like this, just down. Doop. See how this works? Get your fingers out of the way though. And that's what you got. Take this, we'll put it on here, and we'll continue. This is gonna get really boring, so figure it out somebody. And that would be Max and Chance. So the idea of using the paprika for me is to sort of mimic a Spanish dish called patatas bravas. If you've ever been to Spain, you have them. They're potatoes, there's garlic, they're crispy, and there's smoked paprika, and they're served, ready, wait for it, with mayonnaise. So we're gonna use some mayonnaise on the top of this. If you are opposed to the idea of mayo being on this, then you could absolutely sub just a little bit of sour cream. See this size, you know what that is? It's a perfect one biter, AKA appetizer. Now if you're thinking, well wait Sam, I like the idea of this. What if I don't want to ready these way in advance and I don't want to take all this time right when my guests arrive? 
Is there an option? And is the option doing them and putting them in water because I know a cup potato in water doesn't brown. And I'll tell you the option is probably not a good one because you want these to get crispy and the water is not going to help with that unless you dry them extremely, extremely well and I don't know if that's going to happen. I will now officially stop talking even though I said I was going to a few minutes ago. And the last one, kind of the biggest one, you could make an argument that this might make a side dish, but the rest of those little kids, <laughs> appetizer. All right, we're done. And by the way, these are uh, cooking chopsticks, if you're wondering why they're so damn big. Now we get our butter, garlic, nonsense, and we paint the tops. And that will look like this, and your fingers are gonna get a little red. That's okay, don't worry about it. So we're going to repeat this process a few times while they're cooking. And the proper patatas bravas have this tomato sauce that is drizzled on top, and we're not gonna do that because in my mind, an appetizer shouldn't be too, too messy. But we will do is just give a little bit extra of this beautiful colored, smoky, garlicky butter at the end with the mayo, and they're gonna be great. Well, these little chunks of garlic on here are fabuloso. That little kid. One biter, thank you very much. Appetizer size. This is actually a beautiful wait. Just wait till they cook. I mean, I love the color now, but when they start to get crispy. Okay, there we are, beautiful. Hi, muckers. All right, these are ready. The oven's at 425. I'm gonna put them in for 10 minutes. Brush them, 10 minutes. Brush them, 10 minutes. Brush them, then you'll see what happens. Then, then they start to get fucking awesome. That was a little, was a little violent. I didn't mean to go fucking awesome. Then they're gonna get lovely. Have you ever gone along doing something in your life and you make a change and you're like, oh my gosh, I should have been doing this new thing or doing it this new way forever? That was me when I made the change from corded earbuds to Raycons. Since I've been using these, my earbud world has changed dramatically. The company was co-founded by Ray J. They have an improved rubber oil look and feel amazing. And the optimized gel tips are perfect for in-ear fit. And when I say perfect for in-ear fit, I mean they go in, you turn, and then this, they're never coming out. You drag these things out of me before they're gonna fall out. Eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, built-in mic so you can take calls at the press of a button. They'll be useful for anyone on your list. And even better for you is that they start at about half the price of other premium audio brands. And 45 day guarantee, don't like them? Send them back, but I'm telling you something, you're gonna like them. You must give them as a gift this holiday. Come on, who wouldn't love the gift of dynamic sound in their ears? So click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash SDCG and use code HOLIDAY to get 15% off site-wide. Thank you Raycon for sponsoring this video. And here they are. Hello little friends. But now, while they're still hot, we're gonna give them one more little Big, oh, look, they get all shiny and stuff. Gosh, look how they've opened. It's like they've opened their arms saying, please bathe me in that smoked paprika garlic deliciousness, Sam. And I say, yes, I will bathe you. Thank you. Thank you for opening and accepting. That's what she said. <laughs> Stay, oh, <laughs> wow. Okay, while they're still warm, they get a little salt and pepper because we know it's gonna just amplify the flavor the right way. And then, because I have to, I can't help myself. There has to be a little green here. And it's just a little bit, it's just a little bit of chive, chopped very finely. And guess what, you know how I always forget something? Yes. I forgot something. I want just a little of this manchego cheese, just to keep us in theme with the patatas bravas, not the, Manchego is on patatas bravas, but it's Spanish. And a little cheesy goodness bite here. It's gonna be amazing. And wow, I, all I can say is wow. The buttery goodness, you get a little garlic and you get straight gorgeousness. I don't know, I'm looking at these and I'm thinking if somebody uh, was carrying these around at a cocktail party and said, excuse me, sir, would you like a mini uh, patatas bravas Hasselback uh, potato with a little manchego? I'd be like, oh, fuck yeah. But then watch this move, ready? This may not be for everyone, but it's for me. Just a little of the Japanese mayo and two things. Just a little bit more, a little light dusting of the smoked paprika, little bit. Oh, come on. That is a picture, isn't it? Who doesn't want this? Some mayonnaise hater, probably. 
Oh my God, it's the most beautiful thing ever. It's about to be consumed. Look at that. All right. Dear Spain, this should be it. This should be the new patatas bravas. Hasselback patatas bravas. H P B. It's like a Spanish Midwest masha. When worlds collide. Remember that Seinfeld? Yeah, that's this. Holy snap. I'm done with you all. When I say that, I mean I'm done with them. I'm never done with you guys, please. No, don't think that. But you can go to uh, shopstcg.com for your holiday giving and blah, 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 something else. Wait, I can't remember. But make these. They've cooled enough now. Dang, make these. You know you want to. And they'd be perfect on a steak. Just like in past years, you know what's coming up? Sam's week of giving. Yeah! Here's what's gonna happen. This is the time of year we like to give back to you guys. And like past years, we're giving away some great stuff. We're giving away an Evo flat top. We're giving away a Caliber Pro Kamado in stainless. We're giving away a Traeger Ironwood 885 smoker. We're giving away a pit barrel cooker. A whole bunch of stuff from restaurantsupply.com, including an electric deep fryer that you know you want. So here's how this works. This week, the week of December 6th, our videos are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you should know that. Comment Monday, comment Wednesday, comment Friday. We will choose people from those three video sets of comments, and then next week, starting the 13th, we'll give away a whole bunch of stuff on the 13th, the 15th, and the 17th. It's that simple. If this is confusing, if I'm confusing, just click the link below. It'll take you and explain everything and you can see what you can win. And it's gonna be great. And you should be part of it. You just have to be a subscriber and make a comment. Are we asking too much, boys? No. Of course not. Just go do it right now. Come on, get going.